morning, my name is Emily and this is my husband, Eric. And today we honor the advent of love. When we look back at the first advent, we see God's promise of redemption fulfilled. And today we'll talk to you a little bit about God's love. When Jesus' challengers questioned him about what is the greatest commandment, Jesus replied, love your Lord God with all of your heart, all of your soul, and all of your mind. This is the greatest commandment. Second, Jesus said, is love your neighbor as yourself. Our love for our children is a reflection of God's love for us. After all, God sent his only son down to earth to teach us how to love. And we look at that love that God sent his only son to pay the ultimate price for our sins. It's a love that says, I will do anything for you and put you first. I'll put my needs above mine. And perhaps if we looked at the world this way, we are starting to make that change. Things will look a little better. Love is the most important factor in any relationship. Our love for our spouse helps us get through any challenges we may face in our marriage. Our love for our children helps them grow up with self-esteem and confidence so that they can navigate the world. And our love for our friends, especially during this time of COVID, can help them through difficult situations where they just need love from somebody. Everyone is worthy of love. And as our job, as both of us as mental health counselors, we really see a lot of people just coming in from a lack of love in their life, from their childhood, um, from relationships in their life, not loving themselves, not loving God. And we really try to focus on going back to understanding God's love for them and what their gifts are and utilizing those and learning the lack of love for themselves has got them in situations that have caused them pain and trauma. Very often people come to counseling feeling a hole inside of them which is generally a lack of feeling love. It may be a lack of love from other people in their life. It may be not feeling God's love or maybe not loving themselves. So we encourage people to remember how much God loves you and to be able to recognize that love and accept love in your heart. And that, you know, during these challenging times, we really encourage you to lean into God and reclaiming your love. And we want to end with a verse. John 13, 34, it says, A new commandment I give to you, and that you love and love another. Just as I have loved you, you also are love one another. Thank you.